Alright, in this video we're gonna do a quick introduction to compound curves. Compound curves are just, they're really just two horizontal curves put together. And there's two types of compound curves. Um, one, one is called normal, oops, normal, normal, normal compound curves, and the other is called reverse. Reverse compound curves. And normal compound curves, basically they're, they're two horizontal curves put together um, and they're both turning the same way. So if I, if I had one curve going this way and a second curve, let me do that in magenta, um, and it's going this way, you see that the black curve and the um, purple curve they're both curving the same way. Now, reverse compound curves are where, let's say if we had this black curve going this way, um, the second curve, the second horizontal curve, would be going um, the other way, okay? So that's the difference between normal and reverse curves. So, why do we have um, compound curves? The reason we have compound curves is um, really to make traffic along a road um, flow much smoother. So if we had a curve that goes like this and then let's say there's this straight line, right? And then we had another curve, okay? So let's say the incoming, you know, traffic goes along this route. So it goes from the top curve down up to the bottom curve, right? So we have in this diagram we have traffic coming in through this curve and it goes along the straight line and then it goes back up this curve um, here at the bottom. Now when cars or traffic comes into this first curve what they do is they they slow down. They slow down because well you really can't go too fast on curves and once they you know they go along this curve and they come to this this straight line well, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to they're going to speed back up. So they go a lot faster here and then they hit the second curve and then they step on the brakes again and uh they they go slow. So this is, you know, this is not good for the brakes. This is not good for traffic because when you have cars slowing and speeding up and slowing back down, then there's traffic issues. What we do with compound curves is this the problem is here this straight line we want to uh, get rid of that straight line and make the transition from point A to point B as smooth as possible so what we can do is instead of having this straight line we can combine these two curves together um, and in instead of having a, a straight distance here we can have one smooth tangent at that point what I mean by that is, let's say we had this top curve here, we get rid of this straight line, and we create another curve, okay? And here, there's this, there's this tangent at the point these two curves meet, okay? So instead of having this fast, um, you know, this short, fast distance um, that creates a lot of traffic and whatnot, we really just have uh, a smooth transition from point A to point B, okay? So, let me uh, draw out this diagram in a little bit more detail, and then in the following video we can um, draw an even more in-depth uh, diagram. So, let's say you're traveling along and there, there, there's this road, right? And this road has one curve going this way, and then it has a a smaller radius curve going this way and then it goes back to a straight distance so traveling along this car you hit this first curve that starts here and then the second curve so this is curve one and then from this point to this point is is curve two right so if we just had one if we just looked at one curve at a time so let's look at let's look at this curve right here first right this is its BC this is its um, end of curve right and if you do tan tangents 
uh, to these points, you notice that it crosses here at, at, at the origin of this curve. And you know this radius is R, this radius. It's very poorly drawn, but just remember that from the origin to the BC to the origin to the EC, they're both distance R. Okay? And now if we look at the second curve, we have this curve right here, right? This blue curve. It has, if you do tangents um, to its BC, and its BC is where the curve 1's EC is, um, and here's the EC for curve 2. So we have this distance, intersects at this point, this is a radius R, this is a radius R. I'll call this R2 and this R1. R1 stands for the radius of the first curve, R2 stands for the radius of the second curve, okay? And again, we can draw tangents for the first curve, uh, tangent here, and a tangent here, okay? So instead of having this straight line here between two curves, we can combine those two curves together, draw this tangent line, and create a much more efficient, uh, smooth flowing curve for traffic, okay? Each of these curves has its own origin. This red curve here has origin one, and this blue curve has origin Two, okay. So this is kind of a quick introduction to compound curves. Um, really, they're just two horizontal curves put together. And when you do, um, when you're doing problems for these types of curves, you really can split them up into separate um, horizontal curves. Okay. In the following video, we're going to draw a little bit more in-depth uh, diagram for these compound curves. All right. See you then.